Hands down, this is it. I've found it the best social media reporting tool. If you're a small business, solopreneur, or even a bigger company looking for one place to go to find everything you need for accurate social media reporting, this video is for you. I've tried a handful of options and I'm ready to tell you which one I think is best. Stay with me. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I share practical advice to build your brand. Today I'm in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and I'm recommending an awesome tool today for social media reporting. It's called Sprout Social, deep social media listening and analytics, social media management, customer care, and advocacy solutions. I don't want to delay any further from showing you this tool up close, so let's dive right in together. Here we are logged into Sprout Social. Now, if I showed you every feature in Sprout, we would be here for a while, so I'm probably gonna skip over some of the administrative stuff and focus in this video on the features. The first thing that I wanna start with that I think you're gonna be excited about is the Smart Inbox. Let me go ahead and click over there. The Smart Inbox is where all of your messages come in, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and more, whatever you've got, you know, connected to your Sprout Social account. In this case, we've got Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram all connected in one place. How awesome is that? Something that's also really super cool is that now in Sprout Social, you can even manage keywords and hashtags. So go ahead and click this. We can use up to 20 keywords. This is great across the board. I'd say also for Instagram, monitoring hashtags is awesome if you're running a contest or you're collecting user-generated content. All of these things can be put directly into your inbox in one place so you don't miss anything. I also want to show you the ability to filter message types, okay? So this is really helpful if you're looking for something specific under here. Let's say I just want to see retweets on Twitter or let's say I just want to see comments or even add comments on Facebook. I can do that by selecting these check marks and seeing exactly what it is I want. One more thing to show you in here, which I think is super cool, is the ability to tag. I feel like Sprout Social has mastered this. They make it so easy to tag in various places. Let's say, for example, a social post comes in, this one is on Instagram, and I want to tag it a certain way. I could enter that tag here. That gets added to a bucket with everything else that has that same tag. Maybe it's a positive review or maybe it's a negative review. We can bucket those conversations in one place and look back at those at the end of the month. Also cool, when you're composing a message here, you can actually tag in this stage, which is so awesome, right? To be able to tag a message before it's even sent, that's gonna help you with the storytelling throughout the whole process from sending a message, composing it to actually generating a report, which we'll look at in a second. So this is all under your smart inbox and I am loving everything that is under here. Moving right along, I realize I'm making a big claim in saying this is the best social media reporting tool. I believe that. We're going to look at reports in a second, but I want to point out something that I find personally really awesome with Sprout Social, and that is the number of partnerships they have. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I feel like every popular software or app that small businesses use I mean, Sprout Social has partnerships with so, so many of them. Let's talk about a few of them. Zendesk, hello. Anyone that's tackling customer service, sending tickets out and back, you can do it from here. That is awesome. Salesforce, also a very popular one. You can link contacts, leads, individual profiles to Sprout Social if you need it. Similar to that, HubSpot, so contacts, etc. Dynamics 360, also used by many businesses, so leads, contacts, send them back and forth. And I have to say the one I'm most excited about, I am so excited about this, Shopify. So this is actually new to Sprout Social, but you can run your entire Shopify from here, basically. You can understand previous purchases. You can link social media accounts to buying profiles on your website, which is such a cool way to tie the two together. So when you're tweeting, you know someone's history. That is awesome because he passed orders. I just think that this is awesome. Marketo, there's so many awesome partnerships here with apps that you might be using as a small business. Um, Really awesome. Let me just go back and show you also that all of this data here is exportable. How awesome is that? 
We've talked smart inbox, we've talked partnerships. Now let's actually just really quickly go over to feeds where we can look at what I mentioned earlier, the ability to follow Instagram hashtags. If that's something you wanna do, you would do it here. I don't have it set up on this demo account, but if you wanted to follow them, this is exactly where you do that. Next, I'm gonna click publishing and show you what's under here. Right now we're looking at week view, but I love the ability to jump between, for example, list view, which is awesome to see as a list, or even better, I just love this view, seeing things at a glance for a month. It can look a little overwhelming, but don't worry, right? You'll get used to seeing this and just to see things at a glance to see what's going out and what's happening is really awesome. Click this little eyeball and you can actually preview how the post is gonna look. You can also do really cool things Things like add a note to a particular day. Let's say you want to share a note with your team so that everyone knows something. What I love is that Sprout is giving you the tools here to be able to customize this in a way that works for your team. I think that they've done a really, really beautiful job of that. A few other things that I really like, I love this ability to um, set up needs approval, to set up an approval system. So for example, let's say your social media content needs to be checked by legal before it gets published. It's not set up in this example, but if you wanted to, this is where you would do that. And it's just a really great little safety in case you want stuff approved by legal or by someone on the team, let's say a manager or a boss before it gets posted. Now, you may have heard of LinkedIn bio or you may have heard of Linktree. There's lots of different versions out there. Sprout has their own. Uh, it's called Sprout Link in bio. You might consider using this if you're using Sprout Social because the advantage to using this is actually being able to get analytics on these posts. So I love that they've integrated that. It is awesome, super awesome. If I go back to calendar view, uh, last thing I wanna point out here is the ability to click share and download that calendar as a PDF or you can even click and send the PDF. They make this so convenient. Since this video is giving you a little tour of the back end and we're focused on reporting, I'm gonna just mention two things that I think are really super cool. That's social listening. I've talked about that on my YouTube channel before, right here. I've talked about social listening. You can check out some other videos on that. If that's something that's interesting for your brand, I'm mentioning that Sprout Social can help you manage that. It can help you accomplish that. Um, you can also, they've uh, just, fairly recently launched bots, which are really cool. So if you have a lot of, let's say, frequently asked questions and people are starting to ask, you know, the same question over and over again, you can start to implement bots. Again, not gonna click on it. I just wanna point out that they're here because next we're going to reporting. I'm telling you, this thing has so much packed into the back end here. Now, obviously in reporting, you're gonna be able to generate reports that are gonna be indicative of your own performance. So let's go ahead, for example, and click on profile performance so that we can see. This type of report is gonna show us some really important info that we need to know, impressions, engagements, clicks on links, growth of followers, message volume, I mean, Reporting does not get better than this. It's super, super impressive and in-depth. And a few things to point out, not only can you monitor your own performance, but you can also look at your competitors. Hello for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Let's click uh, Instagram since this is new and exciting. Now, obviously here I'd have to add a competitor. This video is quick, so I'm not gonna do it, but you can actually compare your brand up to 25 other brands. You do not need to have the login credentials for those competitors. You probably don't. You don't need to own that information. It's all public facing data. So publishing behavior, like frequency, growth, follower growth, top posts, even some basic engagement metrics, that's all public facing and accessible. You obviously need to log into your own account, but you don't need to for those up to 25 other competitors. How awesome. Um, okay, we're getting a little long on this video, so I'm going to wrap up with a few other things that I love. Let's look quickly under cross network. Let's click on tag performance. I mentioned this earlier. Let's say you get into the habit of tagging, which is a great idea in Sprout since you can do it from compose right through to your smart inbox, right through to the reporting. Let's say you're tagging positive reviews and negative reviews. If we saw a huge uptick in negative reviews in this report, that would give us reason 
to be concerned and we should be taking action on that. I love that you can generate reports based on tag performance. This is really, really unique and awesome. Can you tell that I love Sprout Social when I say that this is the best reporting tool for small businesses? Hopefully I've made my case. There you have it, Sprout Social, my recommendation for the best social media reporting tool. I've linked to Sprout Social below. You're gonna wanna check that out. They have different plans depending on your needs. And I definitely recommend trying it for free with a 30 day trial. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which I work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. A huge thanks to Sprout Social for teaming up with me to make this video. Next, I'm sharing through a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching, and those videos are coming up next.